Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I'm actually back at my sister's place and have a not so scuffed setup right now. I feel like this is the... This has to be the refugee camp, right? Seems like a good moment to talk. Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands and... I'm a sociable sort. Oh, I can't. I actually can't tell the difference between gnomes and halflings. I don't. I don't see a visual difference. Hang on. God is busy with that. This might have been the guy I actually talked to earlier. I tried to. This is a trouble situation. There's a there's a jerk over here making issues with the further refugees. I think it looks it looks like. Oh, gods, not another protest. All right, why is my game not loading? Nestor, if you must. I've got plenty on my plate with these mewling geese. Just because I'm well dressed, do you think I'm a protester? Get out. Go away. Stand with me against this tide that threatens to overwhelm These underdressed... Us. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes You're worried and goods. about the underfed? Uh, another visitor... How do you people see. know? Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in, Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Voldarians. Isn't, isn't it a city that's technically... It's kind of like the whole America thing, right? Where it's like, well, the real Americans, which is also hilarious, because then I have to go, okay, well, the real Americans are... If you want to go based on, like, you know, people who have been here the longest, technically it's Native Americans. It's always the Europeans making a big deal out of it, right? Like the European descendants, right? I'm like, you're, you're, you're European-American. You're not Native American. You know what I mean? So it's always funny, right? I'm like, well, your grandpappy moved here. Your grandpappy's grandpappy moved here. Well, some people have been here for 10,000 plus years. <laughs> so anyway, so that's always funny. We just talk about true Americans, right? Uh, true Baldurians. But then there's a whole thing of like, America's the land for everybody. Blah, blah, blah. You know, like everybody can come. Except for the Irish and the Italians. And and uh, only black people under certain circumstances, like slavery. Uh, you know, and uh, mm, who else? I did always think it was funny too. And I haven't, like, looked into it super hard, but I always thought it was funny that, like, anybody of Western European descent was, like, super weird about, like, Southern and Eastern Europeans. And the Irish. And the Irish. Like, why the Irish? I, I should look into it. it get, modern history is not really my thing. And I really, it's, like, it's good to know, but it's not really my thing that I, like, focus on. Um, but I never understood why they're like, oh, those Italians, oh, the Irish, and now it's so funny in America, right, where it's like, everybody's a quarter Irish, you know, and I'm sure just, like, the, like, dead Irish people who are, like, floating around are like, yeah, <laughs> you know, like, people who couldn't get jobs or could only work, like, railway jobs or something, you know. I don't know, but it's like it's so funny when pe when you call people out on that, where it's like, oh yeah, this city or this country is for everybody, except except for all those people, only me, only people just like me. You know what I mean? It's like it's, I just like I'm repeating it, but it's just like, just the the the, the pure irony. It's like how long have your parents been here, Baldurian? You know, I don't even care if they've been here for a thousand years or not. Like, cities won't grow and and prosper if you just keep it insular, you know? Like, this wealth that you have wouldn't have happened without a wide variety of people coming together. You know what I mean? And so it's just, it's so funny. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm a, I'm a born and bred Baldarian. I could have had, I don't have her with me, dang it. Uh, well, Asterian's technically Baldurian, isn't he? I could have Asterian do this stuff, too. If I have to interact with Baldurians. But I'd rather just get, like, the racism, or the, what is it? It's not racism. The fanatical patriotism out of the way, you know? Again, it's so funny. Because there's no actual way for them to know. Like, nobody has an ent the entire, like, city, like, yellow books memorized. You know what I mean? With, like, little dictionary pictures next to everybody. Like... Nobody knows everybody who lives in a city as big as big as Baldur's Gate, but they somehow know that I'm not Baldurian. 
Yep, Army and your Schnabel will slay everybody. You must stand together. Another bleeding heart. Piss off. And take I think it's so funny when people talk to me like that. I'm literally wearing skull. I'm wearing bones for armor. Like, I'm, I'm a tall, drow woman who has bones for armor. Back off and return to your homes. They have diseases. You have diseases. Agriculture was the worst thing that happened to humanity. And living with, like, in close proximity to animals, that creates diseases. So do unhealthy, unhygienic refugee camps, like, truly, honestly. But still, oh, hey, he's a, he's a guy who's, th th that name was mentioned. If you want to chat, talk to Nesta. I like my personal Well, space. you shouldn't have become a guard then. <laughs> Also Nestor, but ma the Manip? Oh, okay, Nestor, Manip Nestor. That's okay, the Manip is a title. Donations? Hell yeah, I'll give you donations. Um, I'll take a donation. Uh, I'll make a donation, what do you need? Food, sundries, gold. These poor refugee sods need all the help they can get. Um. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, okay, so this is where... Oh, okay, 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 that's right, because it was in the donations of the toys. Uh, I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. I don't know if I should be totally honest with him, because he could be part of it. Maybe maybe people donate more if you weren't so rude. He's not being rude! Um... Yeah, okay, I do want to donate, but, like, I also, this needs to be resolved. I need to get into the barn right now. Something dangerous might be among the donations. Uh, help. Okay, difficulty class 10. I'm sure it doesn't take much to persuade him that people... <sighs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> Max on all of them. I did it. It wouldn't take much, I think, to convince him that somebody was evil and put t terrible things into donation. I'm going to let you through because I don't want to take any risks. But you better not be lying. Hey, uh, go with me. Go with me, brother. And then I'll donate as much as you want after this. Hang on. I say, terribly decent of you <laughs> to come over and exchange pleasantries. <laughs> pleasantries. Um... Uh... You're one of the most impressive pigs I've ever seen. Oh, how kind of you to say. I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art. I believe see. you. Wait, wait, wait. No, please let me talk. Salutations once more, old, old stick. Old stick? Always a treat to have visitors. Is that a thing? I hate it. I hate... You can't know if freaking you're allowed to ask multiple questions or not. This is why sometimes I just go like straight to the point because I'm always like, I don't know if I'll get a chance. Uh, there's a... F I was hoping to ask him if he'd seen anything. Gosh dang it. What's up? You wanna... Are you gonna search the barn or Okay, what? okay. I will. There's... Where do you keep the toys at, brother? Close. This looks like food stuffs. Oh, I failed an investigation check. Hold up. Get in here, everybody. It's a trap. <gasps> and a nest. Oh, this one, this one, this one. You were right. Oh. Uh. Now give me some room. I need to make sure the rest of these donations are safe. You try and find whoever is responsible for this. How come you guys didn't, um, search stuff? You know what I mean? Trust no one. I thought this assignment was going to be dull. No such luck. A 20. Ooh, baby. Surprise-based teddy bear. Teddy bear toy is stuff with explosives, still adorable. Oh my gosh, Larian. There's nothing sacred. First I gotta see if there's any more. 
I wasn't sure if it would be like super obvious, but it wasn't. But we do. We were rolling passive. Passive checks. You thought a refugee camp was gonna be a quiet posting, my guy? Something is wrong with you. Oh, what's this? Nestor's warning. All right. All right. I think I have to remind some of you that what is in barn, what is in the barn, is for the refugees, not for your dinner. Nice when I find skimming from the top cleans the latrine for the rest of the month. Truly, the worst punishment imaginable. Okay, so it was just the one. Okay. Looking ahead. Well, not the let's see. Here. Maybe we can talk to some of these guys. Not that I think they're paying much attention. Explosives in, in toys. How despicable. Hope Lord Gortash gets this stuff sorted Lord out. Lord Gortash is one of the ones who's saying, protect your city from invasive refugees. He's not gonna do diddly squat about it. Hang on, I will oh, who are you? Very well. Seems we were patrolling around a powder keg. Glad I didn't get burned How did up. none of you check for anything like that? Are, are you guys just not checking? Like, you know, for anything bad in a city that's like like a literal powder keg <laughs> in two different ways because there was that one, was it the gnome family that wanted to blow everybody up? And, uh, and now this actual, like lots of blowing up. Ah. Uh, it's no wonder we're being replaced by steel watchers. I mean, steel watchers wouldn't have changed anything either. Like they're they're not like I'm sure the pattern recognition. I don't know. The idea of having robots be your like guard is like very like post-apocalyptic dystopian or like even just dystopian. Like, and that never works out. It never works out well in any of the literature ever. <laughs> you know, because like. Robots, machines. This isn't even like you. I don't even know. Like you have to like infuse them with a soul, maybe, it, to have them, to have the machines be able to do things like recognizing human intent, or human emotion. You know, or you know, I can't say human, but like you know, sentient emotion and feeling, sort of like that. Gods, any one of us could have been blown to smithereens. Well, okay. Oh, it's not you that's this trade potential over here. Oh my gosh! What what are you doing over here? Pardon if my eyes are all saucer like. I didn't realize Baldur's Gate was so big. I mean, Mattis is one of the one where are you from? What do you mean? Like Mattis is one of the tiefling kids that we have been with this whole time. Uh, big and dangerous. Watch yourself, Ken. Dangerous? Oh, it's a gold This is mine. ridiculous. So many pockets to pick. Wait, I know you. You're the reason some of us got here in one piece. Thanks. And you're in luck. <laughs> I a special sale on some of the choice items I picked up on our way here. Fancy stuff. Want to see? I'll look. Tell me these items aren't stolen from the goods donated to the refugees. Don't be a goose. They couldn't be. Bloody flaming fists are guarding that barn like it was a bank. But even if they were liberated from the barn, all profits go to the refugees anyway. So it's legit, right? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, sure. Show me these fancy items. Would I try to fool a sharpie like you? Have you did look. fool me technically uh, previously. Let's see if I can... Get rid of some stuff. Psychic resistance, necrotic resistance. Potions of invisibility are always nice. Stay away from trap chests. Yeah, no joke. Uh, Asterion is is absolutely ridiculous. I just I can't bring him anywhere. Where is the? I can't bring him anywhere. I can't do anything that makes him approve of me. It's a little ridiculous. 
At this point, I'm just gonna have to accept it. I think I can't, I can't, I'm not gonna change you what I'm playing as, you know? So we did investigate, we need to interrogate him. All right, I'm bringing Karlak along for that, I think. I haven't done a long rest. I don't really need one, but maybe I'll do a long rest just to see if something happens. I haven't done one in ages, so maybe, maybe I take a nap. Yeah, I figured something would happen. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> oh good. Maybe I should have saved. <laughs> Queen Vlakis. Scrum. You are a Sherlock. And still, you speak my name. I've seen the captive Orpheus with my Don't own Don't spill eyes. the beans. Spoken to Shestil Kithrak Voss. You lied to us. Enslaved us. The betrayer Voss lies. Also, yeah, you just... Like spilled Voss's. I have only a moment, speaker. and you, a Sharlak, will listen. We are Githyanki. We move mountains. We snuff out stars. We shake the plains. The traitor Voss has lied to you. The heretic prince would shatter us in an instant. The great Dominion. Shrunk to the head of a pin. Can this be true? Is the Githyanki prince really a threat to his own people? Or simply a challenge to Vlack? I mean, she's not very nice. Return to the astral prism. Slay Orpheus the pretender. I'm good, thanks. Serve me, and I will ascend. You will be no mere warrior, nor Kithrak. You will be Barta Vlakith, commander of dragons. My only, my chosen. I mean, you didn't really... A final chance. Kneel before me. Make your She promise. didn't really convince us. Lazar's thoughts become yours. The sight of Orpheus looms over her mind. Voss's words echo within it. She means to forever turn her back on Voss. Okay. I mean, oh wow, okay. And it's, it's, it's Lazelle's choice too, kind, you know? Maybe I keep silent, yeah. I mean, I, she did all she did was like she's like he's a liar, you know. Whereas like Voss gave us like a bunch of details and information, and things seem to be adding up. To be fair, maybe the stuff we read about Orpheus is like Orpheus propaganda, you know. But the fact that we keep finding it as like hidden, and it's like it's more like you know, don't be mean to each other. We should all be nice to each other, and like the fact that Blackett hides that. And tries to make that illegal to me speaks better of Orpheus than if I had just like found it in like an Orpheus temple or something, you know what I mean? Where they would obviously talk talk him up. Um, but she does seem very threatened by him, and apparently when she ascends people, she just like consumes them. Also, I thought we I thought Voss was trying to stay undercover still, but like maybe I guess not. <laughs> Keeps up. I gave you my faith. And you called me traitor. I gave you my life, and you ordered your knights to hunt me. I have witnessed too much, and you have given me too little. Finally, I can see. Orpheus will live, and I will hear his creed. This is my word. Your word is nothing. You! I mean, it's kind of one cult to another, right? The Kithraki will bring you. I will tear your flesh from your bones and devour your skull's marrow while you beg for We death. are doing a bad job. I will consume you. I will unmake you. We are you. making some big enemies. 
I bet you we're gonna be attacked right now because she knows where we are. How are you doing? Yeah, why didn't it pop right in? Okay, well. How are you, child? I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. I don't trust you, but I'm not gonna throw a small child out, you know? How are we doing? Good, I can't, uh, I'm trying. <gasps> Soldier, my engine. <gasps> okay, wait, wait, wait. I think this might Never be mind. It. Soon. Things burning hotter than I knew it could. Well, uh, um, but look, we've just about made it to the city. That'll do me. Let's go protect it. <sighs> Whatever happens after that is between me and the so-called gods. So-called go well, that's like that's the energy of you know you look God in the eye and walk backwards into hell, which is not actually a literature quote, even though it sounds like it. I think it's a drill quote <laughs> from Twitter. <laughs> uh, so it's that vibe. Yeah, no, it's between you, me, and Zariel in Avernus. Turn us both into sheep, then serve mutton for dinner. Let's stay here, where it's nice, for as long as we can. Okay, well, mm. I'm so excited to go home. Anything that comes after that is extra. <laughs> no, I get, there has to be a way. If I just like kill off everybody, and it would, it would be very typical of me to fall in love with the character who is destined to die. So I think if it's just par for the course, it's just par for the course for me, and I should never trust anything ever. I should never fall in love. Is essentially what I'm saying. Uh, it's actually really painful. I'm actually really upset about it. Oh my gosh. Um. Like, I always, like, I'm always like, there has to be a way, you know, but, like, sometimes there isn't. And, like, in Mass Effect 3 with Thane, right? Like, you couldn't save him. And, like, as much as the developers, I think, at one point were like, yeah, I wish we could have, you know, done a thing where you could cure him. It's like, I almost am glad they didn't. I think it's because Thane got shafted a little bit, honestly. Like, I think he just wasn't a high priority for whatever reason. Um, but, honestly, it's like, sometimes you can't change things right you can't change the outcomes of someone's life um even like love does not conquer all like love can't conquer death you know and like this is a fantasy thing uh, it's a hi-fi thing and like there's escapism and yeah blah 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 but sometimes fiction literature any sort of media um especially i feel like video games have a really great niche where like you can experience things in like a safe way like you can experience grief and loss and like in like a way that like won't tear you apart you know but it's like it might remind you of things like in your life or even just like create like a feeling you're like i've never felt like loss before really but like in this moment i have a small taste of what it's like you know and so yes i'm going to try to save Karlak, but i also can't force her like i can but i'm not going to force her to do something she doesn't want to do I say that, right, until maybe it gets to the last minute and it's like, I don't care if you hate me, at least you'll be alive. But that's so selfish, right? Where it's like, oh, I feel better because you're alive, but, like, you're trapped in the Nine Hells again and hating every second of it. You know what I mean? Like, is that true love? Sometimes true love is letting... is, is Like, as cheesy as it is, sometimes it is letting go, you know? And not letting the person you love suffer just so that you can have some condolence that they're still alive somewhere and that you could see them if you want to you know like that's that's very selfish anyway yeah <laughs> <laughs> Vlakith's a fearsome one the sort it's hard to say no to but Lazel said it anyway to her immense credit she's choosing truth she's choosing freedom for her for Orpheus for the Githyanki people <laughs> I wish I knew a good GIF Yankee cheer to celebrate the occasion, but the only GIF phrases I've picked up are the swearers. <laughs> as, as everybody does. The swears are always the first ones you pick up. Um, 
You good? It is done. There is no going back. As long as the undying queen reigns, I am never to soar unbound ah. over the astral sea. Never to cross the one in the void. As it should be. Better a short life built on truth than immortality woven of Oh, lies. sick. That's actually... Better to unite the Githyanki under a prince who would free their minds and honor their bodies. So why do I feel so bitter? It is incredibly difficult to let go of a long line, lifelong paradigm. You know what I mean? Like, you felt confident and assured, like you knew the path of your life and afterlife. And to lose that is something that can be very... Like, disorientating feels like an understatement, right? It feels like an empire that you, like, like a, an empire of faith, essentially, has, like, all of a sudden crumbled into sand and dust, and all you have left is, like, the remnants of that, you know? And that's always a disconcerting feeling. Let's see. Ring of truth. I have a ring of truthfulness. Sick. See, and this is bad too. Keep faith in Orpheus, he'll give you everything you wanted. What she needs is to be critical of all things going forward. To the point, not to the point where she's necessarily bitter, because I think that can happen too, where it's like you start questioning everything. I do think she's jumping too readily from potentially one cult into another, right? And like, it, it's sort of disguising itself as like critically, like, you know, analyzing her previous one. But it's like, you also need to keep your eyes wide open going forward, you know? So that you aren't taken advantage of again with the sweet words and, you know, the, the, the ideas that sound nice, but in practice, are they? You know, and so I'll try to, I'll try to incite this. Yeah, it's a plus one either way, but I do have a, what is this, advantage. <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, let me, I know you, Faisal, apparently. This is what it is. Vlacketh has upended Lazel's whole existence. See, yeah. Everything she knew to be true, every plan and aspiration she ever held has been painfully ripped away. Lazel's bitterness is born of sadness. She's mourning the loss of the person she once was and can never be again. I did not expect to, uh, to um, resonate quite so much with Lazel of all people, honestly. That's this whole situation is actually is yeah. Resonating with me on a level I didn't expect. Um you're grieving the future you'll never you'll never have. Blacketh took everything from you. How well you've come to know me. But in truth, she didn't take everything. I have what I have gathered for myself. I'm more to a new regent, a new land, and new allies. Vlaketh cannot unmake she who no longer exists. Oh. And so from the old battle cries is birthed another. Tremar Zala Orpheus must still now forge an Inyeri. Orpheus is will above all. May the comet blaze my path forward. Yeah, okay, yes, I know this might get me in trouble, but uh, you've been quick to pledge yourself to Orpheus's cause. What about your own needs and wants? That's, yeah, that's my thing, that's what I've been saying, but it's also like, it can be difficult to go from one, like, all consuming framework and then just, like, find yourself adrift so people will latch on to other things. But also, like, everybody wants a cause, you know? Everybody wants to be a part of something bigger than themselves, like, to mean something in the grander scheme of things, you know? Um, even if it's only a little bit, you know, but you want to feel like you belong, like you have a purpose for something, you know, and so. Orpheus's freedom is my want and my need. To deny his freedom would be to See? deny my <laughs> own. There will come a time oh, okay, when okay, I okay. can think about myself beyond the Lich Queen who enslaves the Githyanki and the Prince who would liberate them. But that time won't come until the Prince of the Comet flies again. And she is a warrior, right? Like, dedicated to her cause, you know? So, you kind of give up a bit of yourself to be so a part of a cause, right? Um, but I respect it, right? It's a very, very warrior mentality. What next? We find Vos at Charessa's caress and retrieve the key to releasing the Prince. 
Orpheus tough, King I'm surprised she isn't like having a huge issue with me having not freed him already. Let's ask her about that tadpole. It promises exceptional power. It also promises to break us beyond repair. This ossified parasite does not make us more, but less. There will be ice where once there was fire. And there will be a void where our souls once Do I have resided. anybody who wants it? Okay, you don't need to use it. I know. <laughs> and I I'm not gonna make decisions for her. For any of them. I don't know. Half of them are, are learning to, like, basically have, like, uh, like, it's like spiritual in the sense of like the self and like bodily autonomy, right? Like Karlak is like gaining control of her life and her will and like her, her body essentially by being free. So is Asterian. Lysel's, you know, come out of like a, like a, basically like a, like a slave paradigm maybe isn't the quiet way to put it, but like enslaved, sort of. Uh, a very, very, very dark cult. Uh, Will, everyone keeps like, not everybody, some people I've talked to are like, you know, ooh, Will's darker than he seems, but like right now I'm like, Will is the best among us. He has made, he also has no, he has, he, he has no like real, con I mean, he has control over himself, but only to a point, right? So we're trying to like help him out of that. Um, Gail could blow up, um, but I don't know. I guess I don't really know of anything where Gail is like trying to free himself from anything, trying to gain like autonomy. Um, I mean, Shadowheart was also trying to free, or not trying, but kind of stuck in a paradigm that she was coming out of, and then I ruined it. Halson, Halson's just vibing. <laughs> okay, uh, she promised to make you back to Vlacketh. What does that mean? Vlacketh's left hand and her right. Commander of all dragons, chosen of the Queen Regent. Not since Vlacketh won has a Bart of Vlacketh been anointed. That's right, I forgot that there's like bunches, bunches of Vlacketh's. Only a naive fool would believe otherwise. The kind of fool I was not so long ago. Yeah, if there hasn't been one since the beginning, it seems like it's not something that's gonna happen again. And yeah, Vlacketh wasn't like doing anything to make like convince me. She was not like, you know, here's here's the lore or whatever, you know, here's what actually happened. She was just like, I will give you power. Follow me. And it's like you didn't you didn't you didn't convince me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but um I'm glad we're doing the the long rest. It just it feels weird to long rest too much. Because, um, like, I don't know, I feel like you're supposed to, like, wait for long rests, you know? And it feels like, like, what was the word? You're, um, I guess it just feels inefficient. It feels like a waste for, like, ability-wise. Just, like, constantly keep long resting in order to get, like, a dialogue and stuff happening. But... I hope I'm not missing too much <laughs> by, like... Because especially at the beginning of the game, I remember, like, I, I, I've kept in that habit where, like, I don't long rest much because I was always worried about the tadpole. Also, look at my butt. My butt. Look at that. Look at that butt. Girl, she's so... what? She's so cool. And she's got a nice butt. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I am going to go ahead and call this one here. I'll finish chatting with everybody in the next one. And... Does he have his cat with him? No, I don't think so. Or, I don't know what it's called, but it's not a cat. But thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.